Now, you may not know this about me. This may come as a surprise to some of you. There are two things that I enjoy in life. Super Smash Brothers and cheating. We've watched some videos before on people that have cheated in video games in funny ways. This is a story that I've heard before in the past, but I've never actually heard the whole thing about it. But it is the story of how Melee's biggest cheater <laughs> got caught. How did it happen? How did he get away with it? What did he do? Let's find out together with this video from Lil Homie with 502,000 views. Oh, good heavens. Almost a full milli. Half a million, Jesus. Let's find out, shall we? I don't think he won anything important. I would say that any win is an important win, wouldn't you? An up and coming peach, you mean, was defeating top players in his home state of Ohio. <laughs> Never mind, he's winning in Ohio. That might be different. Anybody could win in Ohio, like. <laughs> Since Pichu was ranked the third worst character in Melee the year prior, there was something inside him that wanted to take Pichu to the next level. He felt as if Pichu had potential to be far greater than what people think. He's so cute. I would get, I would maul losing to this though. Like in Ultimate, it's different. Cause in Ultimate, it's like the whole point is like, oh, it's a joke character, glass cannon. He's supposed to be weepy. He's really strong. This would legitimately piss me off if I paid money and I lost to this thing. Damn, how many Ohioans are in here? Dude, there's a lot of people from Ohio. That state is populous. There's a lot of people from that, that hell hole. That's why I don't understand why it's like a meme on TikTok, right? Everybody has the like Riz from Ohio uh, yeah, thing, but, like, it's not, like, a dead state. I feel like you do that to a dead state, because they can't defend themselves. But maybe that's part of, like, the, the thing, is, like, they're like, Ohio mentioned, because you see that a lot, too, right? When people's states are mentioned, and they feel all good. Ohio worse than Florida? Yes, by a wide margin. Florida has Disney! Only taking two years to start taking sets off players like Sweet, Dempt, and even having close sets with S1 and 4%. Isn't it crazy? that a short period of time is two years. <laughs> You're like, wow, this Pichu started beating our top players after two years. What kind of accelerated growth is this? Does he have performance enhancing drugs? It only took him two years to beat the best players in Ohio. Melee is a fucked up game. All was going well until one day, it was discovered that he had been cheating by modding his Wii and by inputting a specific <laughs> button combination his Pichu would go from low tier to absolutely broken. Wait, he had a button combination? So if you picked it normally, that's so cool. Because if he did it like normally, right? If he just changed Pichu on its own, some top player would be like, all right, fuck it, and pick Pichu to, to like troll him. They would play Pichu also, and then just dunk on him over and over. But by making it so only he had access, he gets to be a very special Pichu with very special properties. I bet more people have done this and we don't know about it. We'll be talking about the story and the drama, the night of drama. the living Pichu. This is the story of Pichu Gate, AKA Super Pichu. This music is so dramatic. This is so serious. Dan Salvato, oh, is he in here? Do you guys not know Dan Salvato's uh, melee history? Dan Salvato has been like, I think he was like a, um, a Link player, right? 20XX. He was on the PM team. Yeah. Dan was, uh, was a big melee guy until, you know, did his own thing. Chaos was a new player that wanted to climb up the ranks in the Midwest and in the world. Okay. All with Pichu. He felt as if the character had potential to see far better results since not many players use Pichu at a serious level. So he cheated? The idea that, like, this character has a lot of stuff it could do. It's better than people think if I mod the game's code. If I go into the game's attributes and put level 99 on everything, then he's really good then. This is killing me. The idea, like, imagine this in Ultimate, right? Some guy is, like, on, on Twitter, and he's like, you guys are really underrating Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario has some serious shit that he could do. My Dr. Mario would fuck up anybody in my state. Just wait. I'm going to show you how good he is. And everybody's like, yeah, right. Dr. Mario sucks. And then you go and fight him, and he kills you with up B in one hit. You just die instantly. You're like, oh my god, he was right. He just has like amiibo stats. Damn, I didn't know Dr. Mario could do that. Being of a Smash career, please. chaos, and like many newcomers. No way he has the bell thing. We got to get this guy sub so we can stop doing that. I like the video too. I can't stand this subscription. Ding, ding. I hate that. I'll do it at a pity, bro. That noise, the fucking, the bell, doo -doo, the, 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 the boat bell or whatever that is. He got my ass. Yeah, if I ever hit, if I ever hear that, I will always subscribe 
mostly out of concern. Like, okay, you want it. You went to freeyoutubegraphics.com and downloaded the subscription bell. Fine, I'll hit the button. See, maining Pichu or any low tier character takes years of hard work and dedication. Ugh. The reason Pichu is a low tier is because he tends to die early due to being the lightest in the game, having really bad range, coupled with the fact that he takes self damage by doing special attacks, forward throws, and forward ears. Yeah, but he's so cute though, right? Like, he's so. Wait, come on. Look at that. Look at little brother. He was dedicated to learning the ins and outs of Melee itself by recording his own tournament games and even making a Smash Sports post detailing Hbox's movements in the form of a heat map. How would. That would not help. Hbox has eight jumps. I guess there's nobody else that uh, you could, like, try to copy, right? I would just watch Axe gameplay, right? Why Hbox? Come on. Hbox has a back air that hits across the stage. Bro, I'm so sick of the Jigglypuff bear propaganda. It's not even that long of a move. It's a normal kick move. Can you guys get over it? Now, keep in mind, I have not played Melee in a very long time, and when I do, I play Jigglypuff. But that shit does not feel like it has a lot of range. It's literally three times Jigglypuff. She's a fucking balloon, dude. She's full of air. God forbid she pushes her air all out in one spot. If it had, like, an air, uh, like, a balloon sound effect, you wouldn't care. You'd be like, oh, yeah, she's a balloon. It's okay. But because you think she's, like, a marshmallow, you get mad about it. It's not that bad. <laughs> well, hold on. <laughs> Oh, wait. Uh, that that last one is a little big. Look at Kirby's. <laughs> Kirby got bad shoes, bro. Kirby's shoes are kind of fun. That's kind of bad, dude. Take off the shoes, little bro. <laughs> They're limiters. June 26, 2016, ARG2, the second iteration of the Ohio Monthly Series, was on the way. With the tournament having players such as Joey Krizzle, Surf's of Hail Satan, Chaos himself being present and being regular. Surfs up Hail Satan? That, that guy's banned from my tournaments. That guy's scary. I'm not, I don't want to put that guy in my tournament. That's too scary. And even 4%. A Jigglypuff player in the top 100 of the world looking to take the tournament's win. It's weird how the top 100 of Melee, like, each year is, like, more and more important. Like, the top 100 in Melee today is like such a prestigious thing. But the top 100 in Melee in like 2015, pfft, those guys fucking suck. Who gives a shit? You send any player back to 2015 and they farm everything. People get better so much faster now. It's a common occurrence that the players are the ones who tend to bring the game setups in order for tournaments to run as smoothly as possible. And one of those players who brought a setup was Chaos himself. The tournament begins and Chaos goes up against Remix, a fox meet from the same region. After a bit of back and forth arguing on whether to play on Chaos's very own setup or a different setup in the venue, <laughs> in the end, they decided to play on Chaos's Wii setup. How does Bro get to play on his setup every time? I, I, something's got to be fishy at that point. If this guy is begging to play on his Wii every single time, somebody should get. You know what I mean? Like, and maybe that's just hindsight or whatever. Like, watching a horror movie and telling the person not to go into the basement. He was annoying about it, I think. Well, then I would. Well, no, if it's a local. I was going to say, I would be annoying back. I'd be like, I'm not playing on your setup, dude. But if it's a local, who gives a shit? What is Fox looking at? Remix feels oh, as if he up. can't do anything. He tries approaching, and some moves just outright beat <laughs> his attacks. Oh my god, dude, that neutral air. So then, that he shit changes his style. Kind of, look, look at the priority on that, outright. actually. Dude, that's a far hit. Yeah, that hitbox is big, bro. And... Some moves just outright beat his attacks. Remix now begins to laser camp. You have they to go camp. Back yeah. and forth and but then you're at the ledge. Yeah. Dude, it's just neutral air. This dude's playing ultimate. He's just jumping around neutral airing. <laughs> Dude, he's neutral airing with nobody else around. That's ridiculous. I would be furious fighting this. How did Pichu neutral air beat Firefox? Didn't even trade. Just straight up beat it. I would be livid. Why is no other Pichu prepared me for this fight? Imagine being these guys and going to nationals and being like, dude, there's a Pichu player in my state, and he is cracked. And everybody's like, dude, what are you talking about? No, I'm serious. Have you seen Pichu's neutral air? It beats everything. No, don't do it again. Don't neutral air. Don't do it to him, Chaos. Oh, no. He can't. Bro can't even recover. Bro has difficulty getting the ledge uncontested. This would be enough to, to make me get suspicious. You didn't get the ledge?
Cody l- missed the ledge in grand finals of a major recently. I don't want to hear it. I think you neglect to mention, Chatter, that was on Mute City. Chatter, this is how misinformation gets okay. spread. He did miss the ledge in grand finals of a major, but you neglected to mention the ledge it. was this ledge, which I don't even know if it exists. Cody, Does this ledge you even do exist? You've been doing all those other Mute City games, and you need to do it in a major way. I'm so right now. It goes right at that. And that's it. And you mean that ledge, Chatter? No, I don't think there's a ledge. I think he has to recover on stage. And Cody does not know that. <laughs> with a 2-1 loss in round one of the win- Wait, he lost with that neutral air. He, that's unbelievable. I want a video of how Melee's biggest cheater lost to Remix 1-2. That's ridiculous. Having the eye of the tiger, Chaos does this. What? Neutral air is even harder. Che- Oh, thank God he beat Surf's Up Hail Satan. Praise God. Chaos had managed to defeat five different opponents back to back, with each score being 2 0. Convincing everyone in losers to play on his setup. I think it's easier in losers, because in losers, people are annoyed and they just want to play. In winners, like, you have to wait a lot between matches. What's funny to me is imagining him, like, tinkering during the tournament. Like, he loses in winners and he just puts the neutral air up even more. Active frames higher, recovery frames lower, hitbox bigger. Just keep fucking with it, right? He gets to change, like, it's like a roguelike. Every time he dies, he gets to make his Pichu stronger. Oh my god, I just invented an, a godlike platform fighter idea. Holy shit. You play a best, a first to five with somebody, but when you lose, you get to pick one of three roguelike things. Like, you get to add another jump, or like, aerials get more priority or something. Oh, rounds? Oh, is that literally a game? Is there a game called rounds? That's just not Smash Brothers. Oh, lying ass chat. How is it that a Pichu player who is unranked in Ohio manages to defeat a Puff player using his limited amount of kill setups? Neutral air. Dude, the guy, the, the, like seriously, I, I, I genuinely, like I'm making jokes, uh, if I saw Pichu only doing neutral air over and over and over and over and beating people, I'd be like, check that disc. Is Pichu's only good move, but it's not that good. Something's See, up. Pichu in the Jigglypuff matchup has to use moves Seriously. like down air, nair, and up smash. But these are moves that require Pichu to position himself very articulately. <laughs> Just since Jigglypuff air. players are usually in the air. Here it comes. Due to Puff having great air mobility that helps her with her back air space. Dude, that kick doesn't even look that long. That's the crazy thing. Oh, <laughs> Wrong again, streamer. Holy shit. Jesus, that's like as big as her body. Spacing. My bad, y'all. Which as you can see from this matchup chart from 2010, Pichu is at a large disadvantage against Jigglypuff. So how is it that- I mean, Pichu is at a large disadvantage against everybody. That's, that's a whole lot of red. Who does Pichu beat? After winning the match against Surf's Up, Chaos moves on to face off against Minty, a fox mean who have been pretty consistent in the power rankings each year, with being the seventh best in the state. Now the thing is, Minty and Chaos were arguing for some time on whether to play on Chaos's Wii <laughs> or another setup. Uh huh. To some people, this was weird. Why was it that there would be constant arguments on where to play tournament matches? Mm. Some people didn't think much of it. But a small number of people began to question it little by little. Yeah. Once the set began. Are they really catching on that fast? Oh, you want easy. Chaos oh. wins the game with the clean 2-0. Is there a way to do this? Like, not on Switches, I guess. But, like, I imagine we have the technology now to do this on a Wii without, like, there's probably a USB plug. You just plug that shit into a USB and it just, boom, 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 and it changes Pichu forever. How come that hasn't happened again? Or has it? And we don't know. It's very possible on Switches, especially if locals require people to contribute setups. Well, on Switches, I thought you got to do, like, the paperclip thing. I don't think so anymore, right? They took that out, but... And Ice Climbers mean in the Losers Finals. Oh, God. Ice Climbers? Ice Climbers Bro, is what is Nana going to do to that neutral air? Opponent. But even with having this tool, it wasn't enough for the Ice's main because Chaos would end up beating Joey 3-1. Yeah. to one. An anonymous melee player would eventually come out, claiming that something was certainly off. Mm. During one of the games against Joey Krizzle, the Pichumin was observed F smashing on the right side of <laughs> the stadium during a stage transformation that killed the Ice's main at 18%. What? Bro, what are you talking about? 
I can't believe we made a video like this. How did we get to 22 minutes on YouTube? It's a 22 minute video. You could have just made this a short. How Melee's biggest cheater was caught. Pichu Ford Smash killed at 18. That was his ace in the hole. Yeah, like the neutral air wasn't enough. Just he, he only pops the neutral air, but he's like, damn, I'm on last stock. Last game, last hit against this guy. You just start fucking spamming the forward smash. Whatever. Just keep popping the C-stick. This guy's forward smashing a lot. Why is the Peach jump? Oh! Pichu. Imagine getting hit by that. Just imagine being that guy. You're in what? Loser's finals? Winner? Yeah, loser's final finals of a local. You get hit by Pichu forward smash at 18 and you die. And you're like... I know I didn't DI that bad. Since he beat Joey Krizzle in the Losers Finals, he now moves on to Grand Finals against- <laughs> Were Melee players just morons? How did this go on for so long? Why did he die to Pichu F-Smash at 18? Is he stupid? If he wins against 4%, this would be one of the biggest upsets in Melee history. <laughs> oh my god! Don't neutral air, dude, is it- Okay, are th is this the real tournament footage or is he just recording? Cause this is- Did he really neutral air like this? <laughs> okay, I think this guy just doesn't know. Is it recreated? I don't think this guy knows how to play Pichu. Surely the player at the tournament didn't just do this. Just Nazbying, yeah. It's just SpongeBob. I don't know why jumping rest looks so funny to me. Jumping rest looks so funny to me because it looks desperate. It looks like you're hitting every button on the controller. Just, it's not, not the rest! Just uh, Jigglypuff is not supposed to be doing that. I don't know why that's funny to me. Neutral air. Okay. This is definitely recreated footage. Even in 2015, nobody is doing full jump rat, uh, full jump sing, right? Nobody is doing triple jump sing. Tofa has a great video where he mentions his Pichu and the fact that he didn't get caught because of how insane you would sound saying that you think your opponent must be hacking the game. Maybe I am smash 4 ultimate brained and it's like you know we've had our fair share of 0.9 scandals and like shit times where stuff was just weird and wrong that like you know checking the disc is like a real thing people do maybe i'm 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 thinking of it wrong because it's different you know back in the day or whatever it's hard to say how hard it would be to notice because it wouldn't have looked like this recreation which is pretty worthless yeah i was laughing at the neutral error but actually if it is just neutral error like, it's, it's probably just a recreate. Like, he might just be hiding the CPU thing here. Or no, because that's blue, so it's not CPU, but... This probably is... It's not the real thing, yeah. This <laughs> neutral air. This reminds me of my video. Did you guys see in my video where uh, Leon Massey recorded all the footage? So, one of the reasons um, I wanted Leon to, to do it and I paid him so much for it I, I was offering to pay him more money for it is because like I didn't have time to get all this footage and all of the Donkey Kong footage is him just really just spamming back air <laughs> but like Leon just loads up this game and just does this <laughs> now this part is about back air but it's kind of just the same thing but with Pichu what's the point of showing this if it isn't the real thing I think it's an interesting story that deserves to be told but I know what you're saying it's hard because like when I made my video too it was like, do I include the MLG footage, which is really shitty and not, like, it's really low quality? And then it, I did, and it worked out, but it's like, I, I think it's it's hard to, to do. And most people don't care. I mean, this video has 500,000 views. They don't really give a shit, right? Just presentation, yeah. I feel like I'm watching those true crime shows that are like, this is a dramatization using actors. These aren't the real people involved in the crime. You know what I mean? Game five. Very close set. Who will take the tournament? Crazy people didn't catch this, but they did notice this about a 10 second clip link. Oh, was that the the point nine off the shine? I don't know what it was. Closes out the stock. The one uh, set that I got to watch yeah. of Ice. Oh. oh, Professor Pro. Oh, wait. His ass knew right away. I guess this is like when you, when you have this level of devotion to still be bad after two years and you play this game that much, like... You, you see me. something like this yeah. and you'll just know. Ooh, nice shine from ice. Was it really just the shine? What an unbelievable level of perception. Watch, hold on, let me see his face. It closes out this. <laughs> Dude, the confidence. The actual confidence to get hit by that shine 
and like put your hand. Well, that's just not right. It, it's funny though because in ultimate, like we'd be like, "Damn, that's crazy. This game is funny." LOL. Chaos loses to four percent, with the score being three to two. Damn. This was a tournament where money was involved. People's hard-earned cash were on the line. A competition to see who was the best. Oh, this is Once real the tournament fun. had ended, Chaos was very happy to go home with some extra change in his pocket. It's like 20 bucks. <laughs> Just by beating everyone yeah, like... and getting second place. <laughs> or so everyone thought he did. It was one day when a melee fest was planned for all players to come and enjoy some melee. Just to chill and have a great time. When one of the players that happened to show up was Chaos himself with his own setup. And <laughs> once again, there was suspicious... Is this real footage? Average Smasher apartment. Able CRT, we dining room that table. Even some members in the oh wait, is this a college? This is probably a college. Ohio scene came up with a plan to steer Chaos away from the room and to take a look at the supposed buried secret. The plan was <laughs> for some music. melee players to go to a Sheets convenience store, which is located nearby. It sounds like a Five Nights at Freddy's title screen and invite Chaos to join the ride. When the group left, those who stayed where all the melee action was taking place decided to copy Chaos's SD card. Can you guys stop sheetsing? That place is disgusting. I had the worst meal I've ever had at a sheets. It was an awful chicken uh, sandwich. The separate one, keeping it secure like until worse it was Wawa. time to see what was inside. When it was time to end the melee fest, Chaos and others left, but not the newly SD card. Because Ooh. it was right in the palm of their hands. These dudes are running an investigation. They're all Scooby Doo on this shit. And then open up the this code. video leaked out to the public. Get on the ledge. Just eat it. Up be as fast as you can, spam it. Holy shit. Wait. To the average player, nothing seems to be weird since it's just Pichu using a down tilt to get Falco off stage. But to the experienced individual, the hitbox is 100% modded in that this down tilt is extended to cover more space. Okay. As soon as the video came out, players with the newly copied SD card found out that by inputting a specific button combination and picking the blue colored Pichu palette. No way you have to pick blue too. That guy was so smart. You have to be on four and put in a special code, and be blue. That's, dude, I can't believe he got caught. All this and he still sucked. With Super Pichu's movie. I mean, like, after two years, this is still happening. I don't know, I would cheat too. If I played a game for two years in Ohio and I wasn't getting anywhere, fuck it. I'm making Super Jigglypuff. My leg goes the entire length of FD. Major things were discovered, like his down tilt having increased range, Invincibility during his up air animation. Invincibility? A crazy neutral air hitbox. There it is. That's my favorite one. Love that neutral air. And forward smash and being able to kill at such a low percent. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. Imagine DIing that wrong. Oh. He also discovered that Chaos would ask this question on Smash Sports to the creator of the 20XX Hack Pack training mod, Achilles, days before the ARG monthly. No way. A Reddit post made by Dan Salvato, creator of the 20XX Tournament Edition, not to be confused with the previous hack pack, Wait, Dan did this? made a detailed post surrounding the event and even created a video on the scary ways the tournament melee scene could be faced with hackers in the future. Dan did that? Dan snitched him out? But it all came to a sudden stop when something unfortunate came at my way. What happened? The thing is, most of the footage that was linked in the Reddit thread used to be viewable. And that anyone who was interested in the topic or the story trying to could see watch some it. neutral airs, but it is now bro. Lost. In the end, Chaos was banned and was required to redistribute his tournament winnings and money matches he had won using the Super Pichu. By who? Who's gonna enforce that? What are you gonna do? Call the cops? I lost like thirty dollars. What are you gonna do about it? I'm not. I'm not gonna show up and redistribute my winnings. Oh no, you banned me. Who gives a shit? I'm gonna cheat in other games. Because if I get banned from, like, Apex Legends, who cares? I wasn't playing it anyway. I should find other games to cheat in. When I get banned from the community, I could just travel from community to community. Wait a minute. Can you get banned for cheating on Twitch? Yes? Really? That would be a very funny series. Me just cheating in various games on Twitch. Brazenly. 
I told you guys about my chess idea. I had a chess idea a long time ago. The idea was I'm learning chess for the first time, but I'm scared, so I'm going to do it with a walkthrough. And the walkthrough is a cheat engine, and I play people in ranked, but I act like they're bosses. Oh, man, this guy's pretty good. I got to learn his attacks. I think I'm supposed to do this. We won! <laughs> Like, frame cheating in games like an innocent thing and be very positive and see what the reaction is. It's basically like prank trolling, whatever. But I think it'd be very funny. It doesn't sound funny, to be honest. I think it'd be funny for like five minutes. I think the problem is how do you keep it up? I think it would be funny for a bit, but I think you're right. I think it doesn't have long-term lights. I would feel bad for the opponent, yeah. We all hope that something like this never happens one more time. But we'll never know until that day strikes again. And that is it for the video. Oh, that's it. Oh, my. Damn, that's it? So the guy got banned and had to give his money back? That's nothing, bro. He might still be around. Just change your tag. Who cares? I still don't know how they got money out of him. <laughs> Me neither. Damn, so they the, the way he got caught is literally just they found his SD card. And then Dan Salvato ratted him out. He literally asked about it on main and forums. Okay, maybe that was, maybe this was his his hubris, and not deleting the post. <laughs>